If you're looking to spice up your cooking in the new year, a warning from Consumer Reports. Heather Mills explains how some spices may contain concerning levels of dangerous toxins. Now here's the reason a lot of spices are grown overseas where contaminated water can lead to heavy metals in the soil. Most of us shake spices on our food and add them to our recipes without much thought, but Consumer Reports found there could be problems inside. Of all the spices that we investigated, one third of them had concerning levels of heavy metals, lead, cadmium, or arsenic. Chief Scientific Officer James Dickerson says Consumer Reports tested 126 herbs and spices from 38 different companies. In every brand of oregano and thyme, concerning levels of heavy metals were detected. The metals were also found in almost all brands of ginger and basil, and in about half of the paprika and turmeric brands. Studies have shown that frequent exposure to lead, cadmium, and arsenic can be damaging over time. For children, during their early stages of development, these heavy metals can adversely impact their neurological development as well as the respiratory development. The American Spice Trade Association says their own analysis shows spices make up less than 0.1 percent of dietary lead exposure in children ages 1 to 6 and the risk is low in adults. Dickerson says the good news is every tested brand of curry and garlic powder, black pepper, coriander, sesame seed, and saffron did not have concerning levels of metals. Think about what herbs and spices that you and your family use and diversify the amount that you use. So don't overload on a particular spice. And if you're wondering, organic products did not perform any better than non-organic spices. Heather Mills, live, local now.